in this example, a equals 5, b equals 10, c equals 20, and then t equals a plus b plus c. Notice each one of these statements is semicolon delimited, except the last one. I hit enter, and I get t equals 35. It computes the first three statements, but displays the result of only the last one. Next, we have a equals 5, b equals 10, c equals 20. And then I key in a plus b. But let's say the line is super duper long. And I have to keep typing on the next line. So I key in a, uh, an ellipsis, a dot, dot, dot. Hit enter. And I can continue typing on the next line. a plus b dot, 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 plus c plus t. And then I hit enter. And I'm going to get 70, because A was 5, B was 10, C was 20, so that's 35. T was the sum of a bunch of them, so 35 and 35 is 70. Notice, if I don't specify the a variable into which the system has to place an answer, it will create a variable of its own making called ANS. Here, ANS is equal to 70, because I said A plus B dot 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 plus C plus T, but I didn't put in an equal sign, like X equals A plus B plus C plus T. I didn't do that. So, the system created its own X. That's ANS. Here, a and s equals 70. Now, let's take a look at this percentage sign. Percentage sign can uh, will designate the beginning of a remark. Here, I can percent sign. I will assign 5 to x. Then, x equals 5 percent. Percent sign. There, it's done. So, the second percent sign indicates an inline, in, inline remark on the same line as this statement. So we call that an inline remark. I hit enter, and it says x equals 5. So, percent sign, that is a percent sign, begins a comment. Now I key in 5 plus 6, and a and s equals 11. a and s equals 11, and as I mentioned before, a and s is the variable that's created by the system if you don't give it a variable to put the answer into. Now, if I key in 22 divided by 0, I'm going to get a warning, divide by 0. And it's going to put a value into A and S, a constant called INF. INF is a MATLAB constant, meaning infinity. If I key in 0 divided by 0, I'm going to get another divide by 0 warning. And A and S will have another constant in it called NAN. NAN is a MATLAB constant, meaning not a number. Take the first letters of those three words, not a number, and you get NAN. Next we have pi, and that's equal to 3.1416. Then we have I. I represents the imaginary unit. So too does J. And here I have x equals 5, y equals 2. x to the power of y means 5 raised to the power of 2. That caret is the standard symbol for exponentiation. And this is Hoboken here.